Is Quan Chi bad? Ever since the release of this character, there have been rumblings on the internet whether or not this character is good, whether or not he's bad, whether or not his combo damage is decent. I've heard a lot of players, specifically pro players, talking about how Quan Chi is very glass cannon and how this character is incredibly feast or famine. If you don't do your exact playstyle correctly, you're most likely going to lose the game. Today I'd like to make a video about whether or not Quan Chi is actually bad and go over his options. So today, let's answer the question, is Quan Chi bad? So. Why are people calling Quan Chi bad? Well, let's go ahead and go over the things that make this character kind of dookie shit. Number one, look at his health bar. I have scorpion combo or cameo. Reptile has scorpion cameo. Notice a significant difference? A hundred health. People seem to neglect health as a benefit in this game uh, because of cameos or whatever. Dog, I genuinely believe that, like, health is one of the most important factors of this game in general. Do you know how many times I have lost a game to a 100 health general Shao asshole because he's fat and has more health than me? It's broken. Now, this character has 90 health. 90%. Ugh. Normally. Ugh. That is rough, dude. I'm not gonna lie. That is something that, uh, might... I would like to see an adjustment in the future because I get being a glass cannon, but like, brother, this is Natara levels and I'm not doing Natara damage. So, um, we also have one of the most disgusting down ones in the game. Ew, dude, it's nine startup. You're not going to punish anybody with this thing, dude. It is bad. Like, oh man, all of his pokes, the only poke that I think is really good because of the range is his down four. But all of his pokes are just slow. They're too slow to be pokes. And to be completely honest with you, Quan Chi like never wins those poke wars. So you're gonna have you're gonna have to get used to throwing them quite quite often on a character like Quan Chi. Quan Chi also doesn't have the best combo damage by himself. Um, like he can do stuff like this, obviously. But like at the end of the day, stuff like that, meterless 29, it's not that bad. But Quan Chi isn't a character who wants to get in your face and mix you up, right? He isn't a character that has too many options to open you up. Now, he has overheads and low mix-ups, but they're kind of slow. And once you start playing against this character enough, you're going to be able to react to them quite well. So what does a character like Quan Chi do to open up people? That's the question. That's the question that I think that Quan Chi is struggling with the most and why this character is having issues. And to be honest... In my personal opinion, I do think that this character is slightly weak. I think this character does have some issues and will eventually need some buffs. Uh, maybe some, some small ones. I don't think this character is the worst character in the game, but I do think he's weak. Now, that being said, I've played weak characters before. I have succeeded with Sub-Zero in, in, in Combat League. I have succeeded with General Shao. That's one of my best characters in Combat League. So... Do I think that he's unplayable? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And it only depends on your cameo choice. There is a way to fix Quan Chi and to make him viable. At least viable enough to play online and succeed. And that is either the Scorpion cameo or the Sector cameo. It kind of depends on your play style. If you like to be in their face a little bit more and you also want to have some more safety, I would recommend the Scorpion cameo because this cameo is really good for combo extension and the full screen spear is disgusting. So let me just go ahead and show you why Scorpion is wonderful. Um, off your 1-2, right? Um, usually you're getting something like this. That's your 1-2 without a cameo. 28% not bad, one bar. With Scorpion though, Oh, whoops, I messed it up, sorry. With Scorpion, though, you do one of these, hit them full screen. Now that's 37%. He is full screen. I can set up my portals. I can get my disgusting game plan set up. The thing that makes Quan Chi broken is this portal. Now I have the capacity to do it. Just because Scorpion's able to extend those combos enough for me to get a 1-2-2 two, two in the air. Scorpion is also really good for mix-ups. Um, you hit the low. You can also combo off this now. You hit the overhead. Um, well, obviously, you can already combo off the overhead with this. But Scorpion can't. What you can do, however, is throw Scorpion's overhead in there instead. So one, two into overhead. Boom. There we go. And now you can get a combo from that. Perfect. 
perfect. So Scorpion gives you decent options. He gives you the ability to overhead people. He gives you the ability to do certain stuff. And not to mention, I mentioned safety earlier. This move is minus two now, so you don't have to worry too much. You can throw it out there and block, and you'll be okay. Or, let's just say you know they're blocking. Let's just say you want to get full screen. You don't want to waste anything. You don't want to waste any time. Boom! Spear yourself back here. Armored move. You're full screen. You can do your broken ass bullshit setups. It is great. One thing I will say about Quan Chi and another reason why this character isn't the best is because so many characters have different mobility options. Once you even get here, now not only do you have to worry about keeping your portal up and using the right projectiles, but you also have to worry about blocking teleports, blocking armored moves, blocking all this bullshit, blocking an even better projectile that breaks all of your projectiles. There's a lot of tools that characters have to negate Quan Chi's options. And that's why this character is suffering even from full screen. Um, so that is Scorpion. Scorpion is really decent. Uh, one more thing I should probably show is um, actually... I feel like that's pretty much it in terms of Scorpion. Like, Scorpion just, just gives combo extension. Let's go ahead and go over to Sector and why Sector is good. Sector is more of the, the your zoner cameo. You pick Sector. Sonic Fox has been playing a lot of Sector, so shout out to them. I've been watching a lot of Sonic Fox videos to learn some Quan Chi stuff. Um, Sonic Fox uses Sector, and Sector has some really interesting stuff. Sector can do like... Oh, whoops. They are blocking. Uh, can do one of these and get an air combo, right? Not bad. 23% full screen is actually pretty decent. Stuff like that isn't bad at all. And I think it's kind of funny to do. You can also just do one of these. Get, get a setup already. Like, the, the kick in combination with the teleport is really damn good. And if you're, if you're like, partially on the screen, you can even keep, keep the combo going. So you can get one of these. Boom, boom. And now they're full screen again. 28%. Very nice. That is very nice for, for a fucking, a, a, an unreactable mid, basically, that just launches you into them. Um, you can also do some weird stuff. Like this, you can combo from Rocket uh, if you're good. I saw Sonic Fox do this on Twitter, but I haven't been able to do it yet because it's, the timing seems very wonky. You're never going to hit something like this online. But like, yeah, you can like combine stuff like that and do extra damage. And I, I think if you do the rocket in the exact right time, you can get a kick afterwards and then like do a fatal blow. Some disgusting stuff full screen. Really though, the reason Sector is so good is just, you just spam this missile, dude. This missile makes you really good, bro. You use this missile? Okay, now I'm safe on this. I use my missile. Now I can just teleport onto you. No big deal. I don't have to worry about it. I use my missile. Let me just set this up. If you move too much, you're dead. Don't press too many buttons. You're going to get armor broken. Yada, yada, yada. Just throw the missile out there. Keep it for the setup. That's what Sector is really good for. He's got incredible armor break setups with Quan Chi. And his zoning is, is probably the best in the game. This is probably the best character for uh, full screen Quan Chi setups. Just because of this. Oh, whoops. Just because of this. And the ability to do all, all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Um... One thing I will say about Sector, I don't necessarily see myself or Sonic Fox use this move very often. And I don't think it's that decent. I think that it's an okay restand for some characters, and it might be good against people who aren't very good at blocking. But if you're going to use Sector, I would stick to staying around this, this range, using your missiles, using your kick, and just being a bully from mid-screen. Because that's what Sector uh, is really good at. Overall, I think that Quan Chi is kind of weak alone but paired with the right cameos this is a character that has no excuses not to dominate in combat league this is a character who still while he has some flaws has incredibly oppressive zoning has incredibly oppressive full screen pressure and has some of the most devastating mix-ups in the game so all in all in terms of quan chi actually being bad i wouldn't i would be hesitant to call this character bad yet i still think that this character is very creative and very difficult and we're just going to have to wait and see what people find out um with scorpion and sector though i would not call this character bad per se i would call him decent i would call him like kind of like how natara is you know like a great natara player can absolutely destroy people and is a very high skill gap but you have to get there you have the work to get there and you have to understand what tools to use in order to succeed that's my take on quan chi though so we went ahead and answered today's question is quan chi bad not necessarily this is a character who has a lot of weaknesses but 
Once players start to understand how to play around these weaknesses and utilize Quan Chi's strengths to their fullest, I believe that Quan Chi will actually be an incredibly oppressive zoner, an incredibly oppressive full screen character, and potentially one of the most annoying characters to go against in the future. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I am uploading daily Mortal Kombat content. Speaking of daily, I'm also streaming daily on my Twitch channel, at Big Flounder, in the description below. I also have a Discord server, the Flounder Family. We're going to do tournaments. We're going to do uh, memes, all the Discord server stuff, all the fun stuff. Setting up, we're kind of waiting for crossplay for tournaments because it is incredibly annoying to get player matches on PC. But once that happens, you already know, Flounder tournaments are going to go haywire with that being said i hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out